pick up some paint on sale this last 4th of July. Today we'll show you a quick maintenance test that you can add as part of that project. Hi, I'm Gabe with Mighty Fortress. As part of prepping your room for paint, you're going to remove your outlet covers. We really hope you do. We hate to see paint on them. Today we'll talk to you about a maintenance task for fixing loose outlets. This is a common thing that we come across with home inspections. We'll talk to you about what a loose outlet is, why it's important to fix it as part of your maintenance tasks around the home, and how to secure the loose outlet. What we have here is a demo board that I made. It has a basic, very small electric panel, some outlets, light switch, uh, for demonstration purposes, for in-person in classes, or for our videos today. The first thing we want to show you is what does a loose outlet look like and feel like. You'll generally know if it's loose. You go to plug something in and it can wiggle back and forth, whereas this outlet's very secure. You'll notice it oftentimes when you're unplugging things. Let's pretend for a moment you're prepping your room and you notice that this particular outlet's loose. What's the problem with that? Well, it's two things. Number one, as you're plugging things in and out, it makes it uh, not as secure. Um, and then more importantly is the wires that are connected on the screws that actually supply the electricity. If you can imagine over time the outlet being moved a lot, you have a risk of that connection becoming loose and then that can be potentially dangerous because it can overheat. Now on a scale of 1 to 10, loose outlets is generally a 1 or a 2. It's a small, it's a small maintenance task but one that we want to prevent getting to a 9 or a 10. Now that you're ready to fix your outlets, all you need is a basic screwdriver. A flat tip usually will do the job. The safest way to do this project is to actually turn off the breaker. Yours is more than likely located in your garage, sometimes outside, sometimes in the closet. Mine is very conveniently located. After you've turned your breaker off, you want to test to make sure that the outlet doesn't have electricity. There's a couple ways to do that. We actually carry outlet testers, um, and if you don't happen to have an outlet tester, you can take a small night light. First, test your night light to make sure it has power, and then after you flip off your breaker, you can go ahead and plug it in, and that way you'll feel good about it. Once we've confirmed that we don't have power and we feel safe, we're going to take our screwdriver, try to center your outlet in your box, and I like to do a couple turns on the top and a couple of small turns on the bottom. It generally doesn't take a lot. As some final precautions, we try to uh, only touch the top and bottom screw. We never touch the interior screws because that's where the electricity is. If you touch just the outside of the outlet, that's plastic and that's a safer place to, to touch as well. After you're all done with your paint project or just uh, actual maintenance of other outlets, you're going to put your cover plate on. Then go back to your breaker panel, turn it on, make sure you've got power, and that's pretty much it. So in closing, there's three general times that it's great to do some outlet maintenance. Number one, anytime you paint a room is an awesome time. You're already working on those cover plates anyway. The second time is if you're moving into a new home, uh, as you go through and you're moving your stuff in and plugging things in, tighten things up as you have a free minute. And then the third time is uh, you happen to unplug the vacuum cleaner, you notice that outlet's loose, and you think I need to take care of that, so you can add it to your Saturday weekend warrior list. Have a great week. We hope that you follow us on YouTube or check out MightyFortressAcademy.com, and we'll see you later.